Today, there are several large hydropower projects being implemented in Turkey. We are going to talk about two of them today. Let's start with the hydroelectric dam under construction on the Kuroki River in the Black Sea province of Artvin, and also show how the Turks are building the largest suspension bridge in the world. The work on the huge hydroelectric power plant is now almost complete. Unfortunately, at the end of the work, the town of Yusuf Ali, located 8 kilometers or 5 miles from the dam under construction, will have to go underwater. It should be said that since ancient times, people have been building structures designed to stop the flow of water, which is then used in agriculture. However, the dams built earlier differ from modern structures. In a more modest size, today's structures are truly a marvel of engineering and technology. They include huge cement walls, with sluices and gates that are built across rivers. At the same time, the higher the dam, the greater its reserve capacity. As for the use of Ali Dam, its height will be 270 meters and it will become the highest in Turkey and seventh in the list of the highest dam in the world. It belongs to the concrete arch type. The construction of the dam was started on December 21, 2012. The use of La Dam will be the second largest dam in the larger Kuruki River development plan which plans to build 13 dams of which two are in operation and two are under construction. The main purpose of the dam is the production of hydroelectric power and it will support a 540 megawatt power plant. The dam is controversial due to its predicted impact on biodiversity within its reservoir along with the relocation of local residents. If we talk about a hydroelectric power plant, it will produce 1.9 billion kilowatt with a total capacity of 558 megawatts. By the way, this will be enough to meet the needs of 6,50,000 people. The new hydropower dam built in the northeastern Turkish province of Artvin will add over $221 million annually to the economy. The dam was built entirely by Turkish engineers, located 70 kilometers or 44 miles southwest of Arvin Yusufeli will be a double curved arch dam with a height of 270 meters from the base and 223 meters from the lowest point of the river. It would also have a crest length of 490 meters and a crest width of 15 meters. At the same time, it will consist of 4 million cubic meters of concrete for comparison. The same amount is needed to build 50,000 houses. The crest of the dam will be at an altitude of 715 meters above sea level, while the normal operating level of its reservoir would be 710 meters and the maximum would be 712 meters and the minimum is 670 meters. The reservoir area is 33 square kilometers and will have a total storage capacity of 2 billion cubic meters. The active or useful storage will be 1 billion cubic meters. The dam spillway will be a spillway choke with a maximum capacity of 8,000 cubic meters. The dam will have an underground power plant 110 meters long 21.4 tenths of a meter wide and 45.2 tenths of a meter high. Inside the power plant will be installed three Francis turbines with a vertical shaft of 110 megawatts. In a dam project where 6,500 cubic meters of concrete is poured, over three overhead lines a day water will begin to be stored and power generation will already begin. Financial inspections of dam are already underway before it officially starts working. A special system has been installed on the construction site for the giant construction equipment. With the help of cable crane system installed from a slope to slope, tons of construction equipment are transported through air. When the use of a LA dam begins to fully operate, it will produce 560 billion kilowatt hour of electricity per year. At an installed capacity of 1 in 9 megawatts, this production figure means meeting the annual energy demand of a large city like Antalya. With the commissioning of the use of the Feli hydroelectric dam, the country's hydroelectric power generation capacity will increase by 2%. The dam, which can be described as an engineering marvel, will be inherited in the future as a gigantic work showing that the Turkish people can do anything. The project not only built a dam, but also 110 kilometers, 68 miles of roads, as well as 45 tunnels, 22 bridges, and 92 culverts. It is expected that the project will bring $83.5 million annually to the economy of the country and will pay for itself within seven years. The DART analysis has always been a critical point for Turkey. This section is 120 kilometers or 75 miles long and only 4 kilometers 2.5 miles wide. It connects the Black Sea with the Mediterranean Sea and opens up a waterway for the resource-rich countries for the rest of the world. Together with the neighboring Bosphor, straight the Garden Owl serves as the border between Europe and Asia. 
Despite its importance, the continents until 2022 were united by only three bridges. Bridges in two tunnels, all of them were in Istanbul, which caused big traffic jams, wolf on water, and on land for the first time, the Turkish authorities tried to solve the problem and build a bridge in 1988. However, due to a number of political and economic reasons, development was frozen in 1995. More than 20 years later in 2016 the core Turkish government restarted the project a year later the contract was won by local consortium of construction companies and two south korean corporations construction began in 2017 a couple of cases were loaded to a depth of 40 meters special waterproof supports the weight of each of them leaves 59000 tons to resist earthquake they were equipped with steel frames and special platforms made of the same material were placed on top The bridge and highway construction project includes one suspension bridge, two excess viaducts, four reinforced concrete viaducts, six underground bridges, 38 overpasses, five bridges, 43 underpasses, 115 culverts of various sizes, 12 intersections including the crossing on the National Highway 4. China Kola Bridge 1915 is characterized by the following. Its length is 3860 meters and the distance between the two columns is 223 meters as well as six lanes three there and three back this type of bridge is the longest in the world china kola bridge 1915 reduces the travel time between the two banks to 6 minutes by car instead of the hour and a half that was previously required to cross ships the bridge rests on two bases 333 meters long on each side at the same time the height of its tower is 318 meters which is higher than the height of the Eiffel Tower which is 300 meters the total annual savings will be 85 million dollars the lower part of the road bed rests about 17 meters above the water which allows free passage under the bridge for large ocean going vessels the area where the bridge is located is marked by problems such as high winds high seismic activities and multi tiered container shifts that need to be taken into account. Strong wind is always critical for a suspension bridge. With a long span to ensure the aerodynamic stability of the bridge, a double hull beam was adopted as mentioned earlier. Very large container ships and cruise ships pass under the bridge, so the design took into account the risk of collision with ships. The foundation and supports of the bridge are on the seabed at 45 meters and on the Asian coast at minus 37 meters. And on the European coast, this mega construction project was implemented in record time, just four years. The total cost of the project reached two billion and five forty-five million euros in the construction of the China Kola Bridge, 1950, which for the first time will connect the European and Asian coast. Two one hundred people were involved, as well as seven forty units of construction equipment. The bridge across will allow Turkey to save four one five million euros per year only on fuel and emissions. According to experts estimate the positive economic effort on the Turkish industry will reach about 5 and a half billion euros per year. 1 lakh 18000 jobs will be created and GDP will increase by 2.4 billion euros. But the most important thing is that the China Kola Bridge 1915 will become an alternative and a moreover a shorter route from Istanbul to southeastern regions of the country. It will also allow the development of international tourism, reduce the delivery time of goods from the west and northwest of the country to these regions, and it will ultimately facilitate transportation between Asia and Europe because trucks, tourist bases, and cars will no longer have to queue for ferries that transport it from them to the Asian part of the world. Please back write in the comments that you're impressed with the Turkey mega projects. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share and subscribe.